Yeah, for, first of all, um, congratulations to Indiana State, uh, Mitch Hannis, his staff and their players. Um, they do an awesome job, first class program, um, play the game the right way. Uh, same for uh, Coach Forbes, North Carolina team. Uh, really have a ton of respect for how they go about their business and how how they play the game in a, in a world, in an era when it isn't like that uh, as much as it used to be. So super, um, super um, impressed with how they run their programs and feel like um, you know, Indiana State plays like they did this weekend. They, they certainly have a, have a chance to, to win a super regional. And um, as far as this game goes, um, one half of it went you know, the way we'd hoped a little bit. Uh, the other half did not. Um, the, the, you know, we knew we knew we knew we were shorthanded with the pitching. Um, we obviously had had uh, had a hope that um, we would we would limit the free bases uh, better than we did. Uh, we couldn't get out of our own way on the mound and uh, couldn't find really anybody to stabilize things um, to give us a chance. And we kept fighting offensively and. You know, we were talking as a group that you know whatever we had to do, we had to do. We had we just had to outscore them today. And uh, if we could have found one guy, you know, somewhere in there in the middle, that could have at least uh, stabilized the game. And yeah, you know, I think it, you know, we had a chance to get it. Um, and then when Gregerson came in uh, for Indiana State, uh, big key to to the W for them. He pitched extremely well. Um, you know, log some innings late uh, with, with the pressure on and pounded the strike zone and um, you know, sealed our fate, uh, unfortunately. Um, so it was a disappointing game. Um, our guy spot, Brennan, had a great day, uh, not just this game, but the, the game against North Carolina. Michael Seegers, when we had a bunch of guys that, that had um, awesome games tonight and we played extremely hard. I couldn't be prouder of our team. And, you know, it's kind of been the, the, the elephant in the room, but uh, we did all this, you know, missing one of the best hitters in the country for the last 20 games. And, uh, you know, our, one of our top open arms, all of our backup catchers. And, you know, um, a lot of teams uh, would have folded the tent a long time ago. And we fought to the very end and uh, you know, gave ourselves a chance uh, today. Uh, even though it didn't, didn't come through to be playing on Monday was the goal. And um, I just couldn't be prouder of this group. They, I said, night one, they, they bring it every single day. They play, they play the game the right way. They play hard, they play together, and they're a great team. And uh, yeah, I'm sad it's over because I feel like uh, break here or there or we made it. We, you know, we would have made pitches when we needed to. Um, you know, we would have been in a, in a different situation, but we didn't. And we tip our hat to Indiana State because they did, and they got it done. All right. This time we will open it up for questions for the student athletes. Again, raise your hands. State your name, media affiliation, please. Yeah, Patrick Eber with D1 Baseball, Brennan and Zach. Just wanted to talk. You know, both of you playing at different schools a year ago, transferring into Iowa. Your impressions coming to this program from finishing the season, you know, I know this game didn't go the way you wanted, but you finished the season on a high note. Yeah, uh, I'll go first. I, I was at the same school for four years, and I can't say enough about how hard the coaching staff here at Iowa works um, pre-game, all throughout the fall, just to get us mentally prepared. And I think that is a huge piece of our, of our confidence throughout the season was just knowing how much work we were able to put in and how much work the coaches were able to put in so that we were able to be fully prepared. And, um, as well as like the team, I can't I can't say enough about how they all came and welcomed me and Zach with open arms and um, met some really good people and some cool cool friends that cool friendships that I have in my life. Yeah, definitely uh, appreciate the coaching staff so much. I mean, came here a lot because of them and because we wanted to play in a regional and that happened. And I mean, we came up short, but so much preparation to get here and so much hard work. And I mean, couldn't have done it with a better group of guys. Darius Southern from the Des Moines Red Shirts. Zach, just, I mean, the pitching restrictions were obviously pretty evident coming into this game, but how much was it 
to just kind of fight through and know it was going to be an uphill battle, but um, you know, just keep pushing through and hope something finally stuck. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely didn't go into it expecting an uphill battle. Um, things didn't go the way we wanted to early, but I mean, just kept going with the next pitch and focusing on that and controlling what I could control, which was uh, putting the ball in the zone. And I think the guys did a great job behind me to help me do all that. So, yeah. Any more questions for the student athletes here? Yeah, if you do, raise your hand. All right, guys, that'll be it for you guys. But congrats on a great season, too. All right, we'll now open up for co or questions for Coach. So again, if you have a question for Coach, raise your hand. You know, Coach, last night you talked about, and even after game one today, you know, that you weren't, you know, the great position coming in today. But still, even throughout that game, you know, you were still competing and still had a chance What's the message you tell your team in the dugout in that situation just to keep them loose and just to keep them focused? No, it was just keep fighting and keep trying to find a way and uh, trying to get the pitchers uh, that were going into the game that hadn't been in there in a while to, to just, you know, take a deep breath and go one pitch at a time and pound the strike zone. And if um, you know, we were going to go down, you know, make them, make them hit it. And, you know, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. I mean, we, like I said, we couldn't find... We couldn't find anyone uh, that came in and did a great job of, uh, of just pounding the zone. And, uh, there were flashes here or there, but um, you know, I think we had 10 hit by pitches. I don't know if that's a record or not, but it, I mean, it was just tied. But, I mean, but just tons of free bases and, and then jams you had to fight out of, which you know, uh, during that court during the course of that game, we did fight out of a lot of jams. But um, no, it just shows you the character of the team and, and how hard they fought. I mean, we all, we all really believed that we were going to find a way to score more runs tonight, uh, regardless of what happened. And, uh, you know, Luke Llewellyn had been in the last two days and didn't have a lot in the tank. And, you know, there was hope of not using two or three of those guys uh, tonight if it had gone well uh, and, and, you know, had a little, a little better situation for tomorrow. But there, there is no tomorrow, no win today. So we, we just ran everybody out there that we could. And, and, and the, the message, the message heading into the off season is that you know, if you if you want to be out there, if you want the ball, then you, know, you, you have to you have to throw strikes. And uh, we'll go to work on it. We got a ton of guys uh, back off of this team. Um, you, know, you know, you don't you don't want to look at it right now, but I mean, this team has a chance to be pretty special next year with the potential starters that we have. And, some of the recruits that we have coming in and a lot of the position players um, you know should be back or you know at least decent chance uh, will be back you know with some some borderline draft guys and um, you know, I just feel like that um, this was really important for us to get back to a regional and you know a lot of people say you know they didn't get in they didn't get in and you know things have changed in the last three or four years with how how it's going to get in and you know, having teams good enough to do what we did today or win regionals and then not get the chance to play, it was important that we broke the ice and got back in and, you know, hopefully uh, how we played and you know, what we were able to do, even missing, you know, some, some really good players, uh, kind of showed everybody that we certainly belong and that we certainly could have won if things, you know, would have gone our way. And uh, I, I think it's important that uh, all those guys that are coming back um, had this experience and they were able to sit there and watch um, Indian State celebrate and you know, it's a it's a good reminder for how hard we have to work and what we have to do uh, you know, starting here pretty soon to uh, get ready to go and make a run next year. I know it's always hard um, right after a game like this when your season ends to to try to have a message to the team, but what did you, you know, tell them those first few moments after the game, knowing that your season is over? Um, not a whole lot, because <laughs> I wasn't real happy uh, with with how it had gone, and felt like we, you know, squandered some opportunities. And uh, we'll talk um, after. We usually wait and talk. I mean, usually don't talk right after. I think that uh, when you do that, sometimes uh, you know, no one wants to listen, and you say things that maybe you wish you hadn't. So <laughs> we always take a pause and. Uh, and we'll, we'll have a good talk uh, about everything and about the season. But the thing I was saying, I was telling all the guys who uh, 
are coming back that you know watch watch what's going on and that's us next year and um, that that should motivate you um, to do the work and put in the time and do the things that it takes um, you know, to to win a, a to win a regional and have a chance to go compete to go to Omaha, which is where we want to be, and not just go there, but go and compete to win a national championship. And um, that was the reminder for me to a lot of the guys who were um, were watching the celebration and then obviously uh, thanking the guys who aren't coming back. Rick, you, you touched on it a little bit, but the guys you threw today, particularly the, the freshmen, um, what do you hope this moment teaches them and, and maybe reemphasizes to them about you know what, what it takes to, to get through this weekend? Um, well, anytime that you can put them in situations like they were in tonight, it's going to pay dividends down the road, and that's why I felt like it was really important um, you know, to get um, Kate O'Mueller out there and Aaron Savory two guys who, you know, once they get it figured out are going to be pretty good. And I think that, um, you know, being out there tonight will, will definitely help them uh, grow and develop and a lot like uh, Brody and Marcus were able to do and fight through things early in the season. Um, this will be the start of that for, for them and, and going into uh, summer ball for, for both those guys and, uh, and then really having a great fall. I think we have time for one or two quick more questions for Coach. Coach, um, after going through a 13-inning marathon um, earlier today and then having to navigate through the emotions of that and then the highs and lows of um, tonight's game, how does how you just get your team to just stay kind of locked in in the moment? Because, you know, can, the emotions and highs and lows of the game can probably <laughs> wear, on, wear on the guys long term. No, it was a... It was, um... You know, it was a, a tough game in, in game one and a long game, but um, you know, we just we just talked talked about the fact that um, you know we could be tired later, <laughs> and uh, how you feel is overrated. We just need the best you can be with how you are right now, and um, that we just needed to rally around each other and um, get our minds right to come out and be super disciplined with the strike zone and try to take advantage of any freebies they give us, and then do damage when they did, and just. All the stuff we normally talk about, but just really um, talk to talk the most about getting everybody's mind right that we needed to be in attack mode and we needed to come into this knowing that we had to um, we had to you know score some runs and um, hopefully outscore them and then also play really good defense and make run saving defensive plays and you know the, the guys the guys um, did a great job of, of bouncing back and um, you know came out and gave a great effort and fought hard but. Just come up short. All right, coach. I think that's what we have for you. Yeah, you I got so one much. more. I got one more thing. I just want to say um, um, thanks to um, you know Indiana State, their administration, um, all the people here who uh, who made this event happen. I know it's a lot of work, and um, and we just you know it was really good to see uh, Terre Haute show up and support uh, the Sycamores. You know, full house every time they played, and uh, really good atmosphere and. Just appreciate all that um, you know, those guys did for us. Appreciate those kind words.